hello viewers this is just fake network tv a place where you can get the latest information about nigeria news and all the news in detail umahi declared 24 hours coffee in a boeing state shuts down petrol stations governor david umahi of a boeing state has imposed the 24 hours coffee in the state with he fed from wednesday 24th october 2020 umahi announced the imposition of coffee in a statewide broadcast to the people of the state on the worsening dimension the ongoing NSAS protest in the country was assuming in the state. He expressed regret that the hitherto peaceful protest has been unfiltrated by hoodlums hired from outside to cause disaffections and breach of security. By the powers conferred on me as the governor and chief executive of a Boeing state, I hereby impose the 24 hours coffee from 7 p.m. starting from today, 24th October 2020. I appeal to our people not to allow outsiders destroy the achievements recorded by the government under any gills. I thereby call on the security agencies to block all borders from 7 p.m. today, 24th October 2020, and to protect and to protest life and properties. Umahi opened. The hoodlums are moving to the Abakaliki Correctional Service Abakaliki to set prisoners free. They came into the state from outside. Security agencies have sustained various degree of injuries from these hoodlums. The state's chief executive called on the hoodlums to leave the state peacefully, insisting that they had met all the demands of the Hensas protesters. In a similar development, the state government has directed the closure of all filling stations in the state towards, towards off any aggressions from miscreants. Investigations by Champion reported revealed that the Kipri Kipri police station located along Old Enugu Road at Bakaliki, the Ebony state capital, was set ablaze by hoodlums that hijacked the protests. The hoodlums, according to an high witness, stormed the police station at about 2 p.m. on Wednesday before setting the station ablaze. Well, so guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? You know, I've said it earlier before now that um, remember that uh, Edo State was the one that started 24 hours coffee. You know, and I made mention of some, something that before you know it, other states will start their own 24 hours coffee. Now, They've taken the step. After a do state, it was Lagos State that did their own coffee. And that was when during the a, a, a gunshot soldier started shooting, uh, removed the CCT camera and all that. And now it is now River State starting a 24 hours coffee. We just praying that it's not gonna be more than this because you know what 24 hours coffee, it might cost so many things. We all remember at least this week, we know what happened in Lagos State, you know. The, the governor was not given any notice. You know, the governor did not give any notice to the people of Lagos State. And he gave them to the four hours coffee within four good hours. So exactly what the River State government, they are doing right now, giving them 24 hours coffee. And not only that, it actually uh, uh, stopped the police station from working, you know. This is to tell you that hey, we're just afraid of all those things, all the all the uh, evil things that were behind it, you know, because that means more troubles are coming up. And to make the matter worse, hmm, Mr. Governor should kindly step forward and talk to his people as the governor of the state. He should st kindly step forward and talk to his people. And that's just the reality about it. I'm telling you the truth, the mistake, that is just exactly the mistake that uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari made. Ever since this uh, uh, protest have started, our president has never come up and said he wants to speak with his people. And that is not a true leadership. Ayodele Fayoshi was making mention of something like that, that uh, if you are a true leadership, at least by now, you should have addressed your people, your citizens. They are the ones that voted for you in the first place. So which means you, 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 
you're happy with what is going on right now. That is just the meaning. And now River State is coming up to give a 24 hours coffee. I hope he addresses his people because many things can happen on the way. Many, many things can happen. We have not recovered from the incident in Lagos State. We have not recovered from that. And we don't want such things to happen in other states. Because we are talking about the lives of the youth. The lives of our future youth. I believe all these politicians, they know much more better than this. Even the president knows much better than this. They know what they are supposed to do. But they are just being adamant. They are just being adamant to do the right thing. That's the way I see it. You know, not only, it will not even end on the river state government. Governor, trust me, the rest of the state will start having 24 hours coffee. After this one, I believe uh, other states will start having, I know Ekiti State, have, they've started their own 24 hours coffee, you know, and I believe that other states will follow up too. Because that is their own trend. By the time one state starts their own, the rest of the state will follow up. That is the way they do their own stuff. But they are not ready to do the right thing. But they are not ready to make the people happy. To make Nigerian citizens happy. We just pray that this protest will not be more than this. Because it is getting more serious and serious every day. And our youth are not ready to give up. They are not ready to give up because they are asking for their right. Everybody have a right of expression. They are not ready to give up. May God help us. We just pray for peace in our country, Nigeria. That's our prayer right now. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we, we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any today. God bless you all for watching our video. Please and um, please stay safe. Oh, we are begging, please stay safe. Our life is so, so precious to us. Please stay safe. God bless you. Bye.